Welcome to the podcast for the sisters and bros. It will make you laugh from your head to your toes. Talking about their lives, from the highs to the lows. And the name of the title goes... The Sloppy Joes. Welcome everyone to the Sloppy Joes podcast. Yeah, and I tell you what, a very special guest with us today. I mean, uh, we had Marty here last time, and there was calls for Scotty <laughs> to be brought to the table. And here you are, mate. Yes, How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. Where's the food? Not the food. <laughs> <laughs> the food's not here. Right. Okay. Do you know what? This is a Friday show. The Friday show we normally do one out of ten club, which is right. rubbish food. We need to have you on the nine out of ten because of your love for food. Yes. Because you're not only are you a foodie, but you're a good cook, aren't you? I think so. I think so. I'm better than Jay. I you're mean, the be- bar's pretty low. For my We've life. done a um, a come down with me before. It's, it might be interesting to branch out my name, bring you into the fold. We should do Jay into we the fold. We should do a Scotty and Motty on the come down with me. That would be awesome. Has Jay ever cooked for you? Not really. He um, once we lived in uh, Greece together uh, when we were working in Malia. And he put some, we had no cutlery, so he brought me, um, you know, the plastic bag that you get inside, cornflakes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he took it out of the box and then just poured milk in and gave me a spoon. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> and that, that was love. Uh, that, that, that's James, how we lived. By the way, even James, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. <laughs> Great to see you. Ethan's, Ethan's catch his breath. He's been working hard. He, he does keeping work the, hard, he, Ethan. He's keeping the ship afloat. Yeah. Since Joe's gone. Uh, but we've got lots to talk about. We've got lots of news stories to get through. Just just on um, your relationship with Jay. Yeah. When was the first time you used to met again? We were both stinking hungover at a call centre in Old Trafford. It was a training day for a new job that we both applied for. And uh, we both looked at each other across the room and thought, yes, he's just hanging out of his ass like I am. What was the actual... What did you have to sell? We were selling like... Um, Phones, I think, like phone lines to people. It's a brand new sort phones of style. Yeah, the company, the company called OneTel. So, that, yeah, it was absolute disaster from from the beginning. But yeah, so me and Jay are here off from the beginning. Started drinking on the first day. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean? Started drinking on the like, first so, do you day. I said, "You want to go to the pub halfway <laughs> through?" Like, 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 and that was it. Liquid lunches, and then we lasted there for like two years, I think. And then um, went to he went to Mali first, and then I went to Mali on holiday afterwards. And we both ended up working out there for like four or five months. And when you say working in bars and clubs, yeah, pretty much, yeah, yeah. So his job was harder than mine. I worked inside a bar, so barman, and then I ended up being a DJ because a DJ left. So I had a decent job, and my the bar my bar was more family oriented. Yeah. So it shut at like one two. That well, I'm all right. Torch. I went down where Jay had Jay had one of them jobs. What were they called? And he used to have to go uh, drag people into the bars. Oh no. You two have uh, free shots, fishbowl, you know, one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Honestly, and he used to get in some right states. But really? uh, yeah, uh, he was very good at his job though. To be honest, you know how convincing it can yeah, be. Yeah, 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 yeah. But back back then, um, I mean, he's lost a lot of weight now. But because he was he was drinking, he was a very very skinny man. But he used to always like pick people up and then try and take them into the bar. Yeah, because he's tall, bar. Jay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't see it, do you, Ethan? Some people think I can't believe how tall he is. I still can't believe it. Yeah. 6'5". <laughs> <laughs> You're parked up to a lad's holiday, aren't you, Ethan? Oh, well, I was recalling my fishbowl story where um, my friend... So we all shared one. We got a big one. 70 euros it cost, but we all that, shared it. 70 out. euros? 70... How many of you... Is- there, was, there was about... Oof, about... Maybe seven of us were going at this bowl, so a tenner each. That's right. And did you did you personally think you got ten pounds worth of drink? We got a lot of a lot of spirits mixed into this big bowl, and um, I remember we all had our straws and we were sucking through our straws, and um, my friend Purdy, who was there, had a cold, and he started blowing bubbles. And we all had a cold a week oh, later. Fuck. Yeah. Nah. That's not the thing, though, you know. that That's quite common, the fishbowl uh, cold. It's because of the ice that they use. A lot of people, and all the, water, it's, the ice is made with local water. Yeah. And that's why a lot of people tend to get bad hot, bad, bad thoughts of holiday. that. Yeah. It's fishbowl, it's just full of shit. Oh, it's yeah. shit, isn't it? Yeah. But you have to do, like, it's a, it's a, it's a right, it's a passage, isn't it? Do, did you enjoy certain places in particular? Like, uh, obviously, you meant Malia, but was there a certain, like, destination which was a bit more party? Vibes that you enjoyed more. Uh, Malia was Malia was great, but it was just too intense. And um, what do you mean? How would you mean intense? It was just like every night. It was like proper. Oh. Fuck. You know, there was no. There was no let up. There was no like she having she having a nice easy one. And yeah. this is like every single day for months on end. And I just thought I can't be asked for any of this. And then somebody told me about this backpacker island called Eos. Have you had a Santorina? 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's another island next to Santorini called Eos, and you can't oh. like drive on this island or anything. So I'd heard about this, and then this girl that I knew said she fancy going over there. So we just basically didn't have any employment over there. Jumped on, jumped on a boat, and then just headed to Eos, got off, and then found employment there. And I was working in a like a hotel, a bar hotel there, and then great place. Just used to get stoned under the. It's a lot more. <laughs> like, it's not like backpacker vibe. You used to yeah, live these yeah, windmills yeah. up on the hills and stuff, and just like get completely stoned and watch uh, shooting stars all the time. It's great, really, really cool. And then like I basically blitzed all my money, and that's where we made the conversation to my mum and dad. Can you help me get a flight home? It's like at the end of the summer. Did <laughs> this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. They were not impressed in the slightest. But what are the locals like when you work around places like that? They were a lot better in EOS than they were in um, Mali. In Mali. The, the, because essentially going over there to cause chaos, like the Brits are. It's a, it's it's, yeah, so it's a conflict, isn't it? Because if the, if the Brits didn't go over there like that, then they wouldn't mm. have any economy, I imagine. But there was a lot of times when they used to have like the, I don't think they were, they were the police, they were the unofficial police that used to walk around in black and if you were kicking off. Like there was times where workers had, had been bungled into the back of a van or back of a boot of a car and then drove off to the hills, done in, and then made to, to walk back and stuff. Some people didn't, wait, you, you wait, never wait, saw wait. it. Who again. did this? You? No, no, no. no. Like, like, there was that kind what? of thing. They weren't the police. They were just like the local security, mafia or mob or whatever. They, like, like, they were running wow. it. Like, like, that owned all the bars. So if anyone's getting too out of hand, like Jay will say, we used to see people get like picked up and then put into the back of a car and then drove off and then absolutely like battered. And then you see him days later and they'll come back and stuff. But they'd like, remember the guy used to come to my bar, they said, uh, he was half Jamaican, half Greek, this guy called Alex, and- Didn't think Alex was good. No, I, no, 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 no. Didn't see Alex. <laughs> Alexander, I was Alexander, I, 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 I imagine. <laughs> but he was like, he was the strangest guy because he was Greek, but he had like dreadlocks as well. And uh, he used to ride a motorbike and he used to always come into the to the bar and have a whiskey under the, the night. And we used to get like chatting. And I was, I, was, I got him because I lived, worked and lived near the old town. So I got nice. quite immersed yeah. in them. But he said one night, he said, Trying to come to uh, Agios Nikos, I think it was where he lived. And I uh, said, Yeah, yeah. So I jumped on the back of his motorbike, said, I've just got to drop some bread off. So I'm like, okay, which was the weirdest thing. So anyway, so, so they, they like two, two in the morning driving, and it's like a 40 minute drive in the back of his motorbike. No way, you're yeah, holding yeah. on like a romantic Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I uh, get into this house, and then um, there's no lights on, and it just goes like that, ah, clink, and then, uh, which was a gun, and then, put, and, then, and then just put some bread down, and I thought, I'm not getting home, I'm not from here. And then I went, uh, do you want a drink? Said yes. And then we just like done a few uh, rackies or something. You remember yeah, we had yeah, rackies? Yeah, 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 lethal shit. That is lethal. Had a few more of them. Uh, he put his gun back in the, his, his jeans. He jumped back on the bike and then dropped us back in, the, in Mali. Sort of but it was like, this, it became like, what's going on? So, you know, yeah, if you've heard That's the noise, I don't know if you've ever heard the noise of a gun being placed nah, down. Nah, nah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, Ethan in Newcastle? <laughs> um, I, have, I had this in America when I first arrived. So, what? so I, did, did you know I, I lived in the states? So I worked in the states for three months in Cincinnati. Yeah, it's a, it's an interesting time of your life. I don't think you've you've gone into it much. Obviously, sex biscuits. Oh yeah, thing. Street, street waffles. Oh, yeah, yes. street waffles. They're called sex biscuits in Ethan's life. From the Google. <laughs> well, I don't Wes. know where you actually lived. Well, I lived in. Um, so, so the club I worked for was called the Cincinnati Dutch Lions. Can I tell you? That it's a different club to the one that I, uh, this guy would work for. Your club is football. Your club is partying. Right. Okay. Right. You said club. I was like, you're, you, there's not a club in America called the Cincinnati Lions, is there? <laughs> no, that's a, that's a really good point, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the, they'll go for a fishbowl. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 In, in the football club, they'll they'll throw you out. Oh, I'll tell you what, we would. We'd have a good time after a win, let me tell you that. That, that, that is for sure. <laughs> he's um, he's lost his sure. mind a bit, but I <laughs> we, can see it in his eyes. We, he's <laughs> but we, um, I, well, I lived in, in, in northern Kentucky, even though since that is obviously Ohio, but it was on the border, right. you see. What was the story that you asked me to tell tell you about? Where did you live? I just said, where did you live? Yeah, I just lived there, northern Kentucky. Is, really. that, is that where KFC was from? Yeah, Kentucky yes, well, project. Kentucky, yes. Why, why, like, I've never been to Kentucky and I don't want to diss it, but America's a great place. Why would you go to Kentucky, Ohio? Sorry, I was talking about the gun, but, um, <laughs> yes, no, sorry, I just recall now. But, uh, you asked me about the gun getting put on the table. <laughs> sorry, but uh, why no, did I go to Ohio? Yeah, it's crazy. Just for um, a few months of um, experience and fun, as I was doing, running the media for the football club there. Oh, so 
Their job, a job comes up, you go for All it, right. and you get it. Yes, and I got the job over there. And when I got there, so you, you, if those who were eagerly listening there or, or just listening would have noticed I said Cincinnati, Dutch Lions. And that's because the, 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 the club was owned by uh, Dutch people. Right. So the Dutch owners, when I was there, Dutch billionaires, Hans, um, I went into his uh, office. I was like, hello, Hans, and his son was there. And um, they went, uh, have you ever seen a gun before? I was like, um, no. And I was always a bit scared I would go to America anyway because of the guns, you see, Joe. You know? So I was like, um, oh, well, no. And he went, well. And he just opened his desk and he put it out and he put it on the table. And he was laughing going, ah, bet you Englishmen are scared of guns. And I was like, oh, you're fucking mental. Ah. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah. Like some sort of power move. Oh, yes, it was oh, a power God. move, all right. But uh, he was a very nice billionaire. He's a billionaire. Um, or at least he had hundreds of millions of pounds because he owned many big businesses. He owned the main windmill company, construction company. Did I it? said windmill because it was Dutch. Yeah. So, so, so you bad, did you he make out, windmills? It was on his logo. <laughs> he asked me once to to design a logo for for his new cannabis company, Cannabis Farm, and I never used Photoshop at that time. But I made this terrible, like, cannabis farm logo thing. And I was thinking, if this, if this takes off, and I'd like a bit of money, but he didn't use it because it was shit. I just had, like, a like a, a marijuana. Did you see the one that he went for in the end? I didn't. No, I was too, too saddened to see um, how much better it would have been than mine. There, was, yeah. there is those things about the person that did the night tick originally. She only got like... The what? It, the the night, night tick. Oh, yeah. Like, they have only got... Uh, I think it was a, a lady who only got about $70 because they just bought a, a simple design yeah, off yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, And now it's iconic, isn't it? I mean, I probably got the, the actual facts wrong there, but, you know, not what... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Essentially, the I'm actual... Probably talking the shit actual there, real yeah. detail of what yeah. I probably said is yeah. wrong, but here's the main headlines. Yeah. Someone didn't get what they deserved. Yeah, yeah, of course. Do you, reckon um, that, do you reckon that still rubs up the wrong way now? Probably dead. Probably dead. Yeah. When did that, when did that come out? 60s? Night. Well, yeah, Google that for us. If what about Apple? Well, the person who sold Apple sold it for like a few grand, didn't they? Oh, the logo. Uh, oh, no, the, the business. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, who? who, I, who? Swear, I swear. Some man Aslan. In, in the shed. Aslan. No, 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 some man. Some. Man in the shed. So, but it was it was was he not about um, Jobs? Jobs, Steve Jobs. I, I think Jobs is a fraud. He bought it off. Of no, you can't say that. You can't uh, say Jobs allegedly. is a fraud. Oh, but, I agree. Uh, so Apple was a thing. Jobs came in and bought it. Are we are we all just spouting shite? Here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure Jobs was about. He was kicking him out. Some, yeah, yeah. Some man had some important part to play. That, that we there was somebody was, done yeah. over. I think I've seen the Steve Jobs film, and like he didn't come off pretty well. Yeah. No, that oh. was the network with Zuckerberg, wasn't it? No, it was the Jobs film. All right. There's a lot of there's a lot of I mean business anyway, isn't it? Yeah, it's business. Yeah, he's yeah. a twat as well. Fucking business. Zuckerberg. Yeah. Um, no. So have you been, Sky? Because normally we do Breaking Joe's, which is talking about with the week that's just been. Um, that's on the Tuesday episode, but you're not going to be here. Right. So why okay. don't you tell us about the week you've just had? The week I've just had, um, preparing for my brother's wedding. That's great. So yeah. it's a bit, what's the, what's the, what's it going to be like? Because it's this weekend, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's this Saturday. So it's just, uh, it's going to be Manchester Town Centre in Castlefield. Lovely. I think it's going to be quite a relaxed thing, I hope. But the stressing going up to it. You know, like the bride's supposed to be stressing about the outfits. My brother's just gone. They're in the WhatsApp group. He's like, what do you reckon this colour on this texture? And he's gone, like, just, yeah, just, just get a suit. He's, he's picking it up, so today's Thursday, and he's picking it up tomorrow. He gets no. married on Saturday. No. <laughs> like, oh. I know. That's crazy, it late. isn't it? What if it doesn't fit? I know. Well, last week, he's, got, he's gone to a tailor's for, to get measured, to, nice. to get to get done, so it should be done for today. What are you wearing? Tuxedos. Oh, you've already got it sorted? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got mine yesterday. So you're the best man? One of them. One of the best man. My cousin's the best man. And uh, how's the speech going to work? Are you all going to take turns, or what's it going to be It's going to be free speeches, I think. I think um, I'm doing one, my uh, cousin's doing one, and I think my brother's going to be doing one. I'm going for the more sort of yeah, what were you older going? brother, bit of jokes about him. And then nice words about her, and then a few poetic words about uh, love. love, and that's it. That's nice. to say. Eight, so no, like rogue mother-in-law jokes. Nah, I've sort of been. I've had words of one about things I kind of can't say, so I'm towing the line. 
you want to say any of the things you can't say now on air? No. <laughs> No, no, Would no. you be a good best man, Ethan? I was just thinking this right now. I think none of my friends would pick me. I think I'm always just cutting it short. Yeah. Yeah. Who's the <laughs> Who's the closest person that you think might pick you as the best man? Well, I don't think any of them will. I'm always second or third place. So obviously, I, I, I've lived with for the longest out of my friends in Manchester would be Matt and Wob, but. <laughs> I come second and third every time there, I'm pretty sure. Back at home, with my friend Nick, I come second to my friend Jack. What, what about Jack, Alan? What about Nick crazy come, Alan? No, I, 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 don't, I don't think I'd pip it for Alan. I think Why, who's going to be his best man? Well, if I go off it, that would be, that would be lovely, but I, I just don't think, sadly enough, I have any meaningful enough relationships to qualify. Who's going to be Welcome your best the man then? Did you, 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 you know who's yours? Is going to be? Uh, 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 Andy's my best man. And Andy's a little bit of a nutter. Right. Um, so to sort of contract that, uh, I've also brought in uh, Daryl, who's also a nutter. So them two are looking after the show. I think the idea of, like, we're going to we're gonna get married probably... Well, we thought it was going to be 2025, but like life is like a bit crazy. Like yeah. Jobs are, are, are hectic in a minute. Freelance life is a bit wild. Uh, and Becky's jobs, um, like the, it's working for the government. They're doing some crazy stuff at the minute, like getting rid of certain roles and then just hiring agency staff for like double the amount just so they can pretend that they've fucking cut jobs. Uh, so it might be the year after, but a stag dude's looking good. Yeah. Essentially, what the idea is, because we obviously... Uh, I've got our Irish backgrounds is starting um, with, with like a little mobile home like Max and Paddy <laughs> just for a week organising a full tour, tour of Ireland and then awesome. sending the itinerary to whoever wants it and you can join us or you can't oh, right, yeah, so we're great. going to be in Galway here we're going to be in the thingy there and that's just the getting about there. so that's the idea so yeah, I'll send yeah. you the itinerary yeah that's hey. I've got friends over in Mayo and Fox oh, and all that. I, love, I love going over there it's like, yeah. oh, great fun now, Joe Smith's still away, but he lands back. I, when this comes out, a week to the day. So people will be rejoicing they've missed Joe. Yes, they've you, not. <laughs> they've not. They've not. They want, they like that Dom. Do you think they like Dom more? Than, I no, they don't they, like Dom more they, than Joe. They like Dom too much. Do you think Joe is reading the comments? He is at no. home. Oh, can, can we get this flight home earlier? Joe, yeah. Joe would not be reading comments. Joe doesn't know what day Joe, Joe doesn't. If it's anything work or he's away, no, no. way, Jose. I play to him. Yeah. I can't do that. I can't switch off when I'm older. Mm. Oh, you sure you always got your phone on? Yeah, yeah, always. Cause I just, it's like freelance lifestyle, isn't it? You've turned up, you don't, you don't yeah. read that email. I was, uh, I was stood on a, I was stood on Oxford Road train station the other day uh, without a phone because it was ran out of battery and just looking around. I quite, I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I was looking up like, I had like a bit peaceful. Instead of like some wacky podcast for <laughs> years, just lads taking the piss up yeah, yeah, all the time yeah. and me and That's mad though, isn't it? Well, yeah, we always have seems to fill noise or any void it that's is, going on. It's got a bit wild, plug, Yeah, yeah, plug something in. What are you like on the phone or the toilet? Always. I was on the, this, this morning, my girlfriend phoned me and she WhatsApp called me and I said, well, if you're going to do it, I'm, I'm, I'm having a poo. I've been mean, <laughs> I mean, getting myself into a wild situation now because like obviously TikTok for some bizarre reason, like one thing it's starting to do is just show me traffic cops, but in different parts. So like it'll hook you in, like a traffic cop episode part one, and it'll have a really catchy like title, like Scouser loses his head on the M6. What, literally? No, no, <laughs> well, that's what I thought. So I watched part one, obviously it's a cliffhanger, part two, part three. I'm on part to like 41. <laughs> I'm just watched a full episode of Traffic Cops. I could have just put it on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He did lose. He didn't lose that. He just got into a fight. But because you know, you sometimes you're on TikTok doing a poo, and obviously there's like sexy ladies dancing. I've sort of got like a weird thing now where the smell of poo and a sexy lady. <laughs> <laughs> where I'm like, Shut up. Shut up. you see a sexy lady, you think. Shut up. Shut up. You see a sexy lady, you think. I wonder does she smell like shit. <laughs> Just imagine the adverts for and the then, perfume. And then, and then I have a shit, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If you could create... Honestly, after that curry when I was fine, and it oh, exploded, Jesus. climaxed. Right, if you could create like a shitty scented 
perfume then what would it be what a shitty scented perfume yeah you're saying if these sexy ladies smell like poo what would it be poo fume <laughs> <laughs> Nah, what do you do in the toilet? You know you don't like speaking about period, but if you're on the toilet, it's past time. What do you do? Twitter a lot. The, the thing when you talk about Facebook, I remember there was a terrible, terrible phase. If he's just moved the subject on here, by the way, no, because none of us. We're well, talking about Facebook. None of us. There's a, there's a terrible. He doesn't terrible like phase. Talk, talking about the toilet. Does he not, the toilet no, doesn't no. like it. No, but is that doesn't phobia? Like like? I think he, he bleeds on the toilet. I told oh. no, well, no. I, I, not so much these days anymore. Why? Through the bum? No, out, out. Out the front? No. Oh. No. If it was through the bum, I don't know why you like No, just on the outside of, not the through. The outside of what? The, the bum. What the, what? But not like, it's not interior. I'm fine now, it's gone now. Right, what do you okay. mean, Jane? After so many years, I, 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 I was just a bit um, calmer and less um, aggressive with the bum. So you think your aggression hmm. cut the bum? Wow! But but oh, oh um, back to Facebook because we were, we were talking about Facebook, weren't we? Back yeah. To Facebook. I um went through first. Are you aware of the TV show? Sorry. The <laughs> no, no, he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna die with it. No, no, so, no, what no. the fuck was that? Oh, sorry. This is what we got to deal what? with. We got to deal with a human <laughs> having a breakdown. Uh, sorry. He went. Yeah. I, I, this is, he went on the TV show. <laughs> Listen, listen. The um, you look the, broken, Ethan. The good doctor. What have doc they done to you? The, the good doctor. The good doctor, but it was <laughs> this this company or this Facebook page would play it, and it would all be in a really high frequency so that it wouldn't get plagiarised with this copyright-free music playing in the background. So, I I watched many hours of that. Of this, these people talking in high pitched voices, saving other people's lives. Really? I thought it was a load of shit, but I couldn't stop watching it. <laughs> and you'd watch this on a day to day? Well, Facebook algorithm would catch me up, then I'd realise. But now, do you know what's a brilliant thing that I've saw on the on the medias? There's what? this, these people now and then pop up on my feed and they'll do like a, a, a something to hook you, and they'll go, you've been doom scrolling, haven't you? How long's it been? 10, 20, 30 minutes? Stop, put your <laughs> phone down. And I do it, I put my phone down. Wow. Oh. Yeah. There was oh. that person that helped me. I wish there was more like that out there. Do you think you have a problem with your phone? In terms uh, of yeah, if it feels like something's missing. Do you know what I mean? Do you know like when I'm like, if I've not got it on me, if I'm not looking like, for some, oh yeah, do you know what, I've actually got a problem on that. <laughs> there. Like, I was getting the dog ready yesterday, and this is weird, because I was thinking about. The dog ready? I've fucking got a pocket to go for a walk. Oh. Um, <laughs> I was shoes on my phone, on yeah, this. shoes on. I was on my phone upstairs, and I was checking Instagram, and then when I got downstairs, I put my shoes on, sat on the poof, uh, ready to take the dog out. You can't call him that. I'm re ready to take <laughs> the dog out. And then for some reason I went, oh, I'll probably just check Instagram again. I've, there's no, nothing's changed. Yeah, nothing's yeah, yeah, changed. Yeah, yeah. It, nothing has changed. I'm the the dog's same. there, ready to go, I, and I'm like, but what? It's bad, isn't it? I came out of work yesterday, and because uh, I've been working in the prisons, you're not allowed your mobile phone all day. Oh, so shit. I sort of so, like get back out, check Twitter, and I thought I'm not putting anything on Twitter today. I'll have, to, I'll have to do something. And then I had the conversation: Why do I have to do something? Yeah. Like, well, what do I have to do? What's your hours saying? Well, look, you got your oh, phone. Yeah, you got your phone oh. at you, Ethan. You're not too bad because you work no, quite I'm, a bit. Well, I do, that's correct, but when it stays, when I'm... When what I'm is it again? How are we going? Screen, screen time. Right, here we go. Oof, fuck. Right, let me go uh, <clears throat> see all... Oh, God. Right, By week. By, but you know what? My week's not too bad. I've gone to my last week. Oof, God. I'm on my last week on average a day. So this is five hours and 21 minutes a day. Five hours and twenty-one. So minutes. I spent a total of nine hours and fifty-two minutes on tw TikTok last week, seven hours on Instagram, three hours on Twitter, two hours on WhatsApp, Oof. two hours on Safari. <laughs> <laughs> How did, what, what, where is that on the thing? Screen time. Just checking Just my uh, fantasy screen football. Time? Oh, right, okay. Screen time. You got that? Screen yeah, time. Yeah, you got yeah, it? Right, yeah, yeah. And then it kind of shows you an average this week. Scroll back. See what Ethan. You got yours? Yes. What? Just read I've, it out. It's not fucking, not my readers. No, well, my, you, my what? average is 
five hours and 42 minutes. Oh, so oh well, that. similar, because I'm five hours, 30 minutes. I don't know what I was doing on Friday. Eight hours and 17 minutes was on the phone. And fucking <gasps> That's bad, that. What did you do on Friday? You know what I think it might be? when I'm Because I, I listen to it, or is it, when you're listening to audio books, does that count? I don't know, actually know, you know. Do you set any limits? Uh, Becky, uh, my partner sets 15 minutes for Windows. So it like comes up flashing. Alert, yeah. alert, alarm, 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 alarm. So she can't, she can't be on Instagram for more than 15 minutes at a time. Oh, I've got that though. <laughs> what the fuck? So right. last, last week was six and a half hours average. Go on, what's your, what's your top tier? Um, Twitter. And then what's the, if that's a variant? Guess how much Twitter I used in the, in the week. If you guess how much Twitter I used <laughs> in the week. Yeah. 10 hours. 10 hours, 43 minutes. Bloody hell. Are you Twitter? Are you I'm Twitter? Twitter? Me. Yeah, Twitter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then what? Instagram. So I, I don't. I, I, I don't really love Instagram. Most used apps is X, then WhatsApp or Chrome. Oh, Google Maps two hours seventeen makes it seem not that bad now. Dude, but what are you doing for two hours and seventeen minutes? Just driving. How's your car going, by the way, Ethan? Oh yeah, he's very well, thank you. He, uh, the car. I'm, I'm brilliant at driving now. When wasn't you? What was your, what was your problem? For about two fast. years. Was really? Mm. Terrified. But now the 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 road's my oyster. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, you said it's a he. What what's their name? Ah, uh, you can't assume. Actually, I take it back. No, you. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to ride a man, that's fine, Ethan. Yeah, it, it, is fine. Yeah. it is it's fine. It is fine. It's absolutely fine. Um, um, yeah. Does have a. What don't you like driving? About driving. Oh, the, the, the fear of death, probably. <laughs> the fear of death. <laughs> yeah. Are you, you ever on the motorway go, this is wild? I, I nearly fucking died yeah. coming home yesterday, actually. Sorry, am I right? I swear yeah, it. I never, I never know the time limit. We have 40, 30 minutes here. <laughs> I, I, I've got coming down the M6 yesterday, and um, I was playing some tunes. Oh, look, getting into Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Look, look behind me, and I thought the car's a bit fucking close, the one behind me. And I look forward, and the oh. car in front has smashed the brakes on and put the hazards. Because I've realised how close the car behind me is, I've had to swerve off on, onto the hard shoulder. Oh my and god! And then the guy, the car behind me, has gone through where I would have been, and then just part, and then just stopped like oh. an ass hair away from the. From, what I, was I, his fucking problem? Well, he was, was just driving willy nilly. Well, it's just like last minute, but because I, I, unfortunately, if I'd not gone like pulled over. <coughs> fucking dead mate Probably that's dead. mad Probably dead. honestly you're on the motorway sometimes and there's like a lorry behind you yeah, and like yeah, one yeah, coming yeah, up yeah, and yeah. you think oh my this is crazy. I was driving Ethan to football over there what was that like Ethan oh hell on driving with, with the hailstone last week last Monday what you giving him a lift to footy yeah 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 like but his I was, coach I, yeah he I was well at footy uh, yeah yeah football. well he only let 18, 19 goals in this week 17 17 sorry you let 17 <laughs> goals and, and had a good game I was incredible you're coming to do penalty shots tomorrow, aren't you, for the BBC? I could be, yes. Good. Where's that? They want the United podcast to take Is on the City radio? podcast. Is it radio? Really? That'd be fun tomorrow, <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 but it's fear of the mind, isn't it? Um, what was I going to say? Have you ever hit an animal on the car? Not just like... <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think so, no. no. Right, well, I thought you were talking about hit a badger once. Nah, they're big, though. Well, you punched it. No, 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 on the, in the car. Oh. Uh, it was uh, down Kingsway yeah. coming from the Cheadle John Lewis yep. we were coming back from like a gig um, some mates and we weren't boozing we just drove to see some uh, uh, a band that we like and I was dropping them back off at their halls in town and a badger or is it, was it a beaver no it wouldn't have been a fucking beaver <laughs> no that would have been a badger I imagine why wouldn't it be in a fucking beaver? Because there's no it? fucking beavers about anymore. They just there's put a river them back down in the road. habitat. Oh, yeah. God, maybe there's not beavers about because there's not got any road safety. Yeah. No, because they're not, they're not there. I killed the last beaver. You did not kill the last right, beaver. Let's call it a badger then. And what was you doing in this situation? So it was going down, it's like it's your carriageway. I could see me it's making a dart for the other side of the road. But I know at my speed, safe speed, I was going to hit, right? So I could put a foot down, but I know it'd have to be a dramatic foot down. To and there's someone behind you, not too close, but close enough that if I put a foot down, yeah, it I could it. be. Yeah. I hope. Could, could you not go over to the lane? I also did. You should have been there because <laughs> that would have been great advice. At the time. <laughs> I also did a calculation in my head to think if I hit this beaver now. 
Bad Sorry, trip. Badger. If I hit this Badger now at this speed, I'm probably just going to really hurt it and not kill it. You were doing all that. So how, how much, how, what, so what, I, di- what distance did you have? So I sped up. And just little completely yeah, levelled it. Fucking God, To man. kill it? Because you knew you'd injure it? Yeah. Fuck. What would you have done? Apart from don't move lane. Right, okay. Right, okay. That would have been a great option. If I'd I, have, I, I'd have, if it had sit, I, I probably would have uh, hit, I, hit the brakes, <gasps> to be honest. Do you like beavers? Oh, and badgers gosh. and foxes. I, 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 I'm not a massive fan of badgers, but if it was a fox, I probably would have done. I like ha- yeah, you would have just done like the hazards and hit the brakes. Yeah, I should have, but panicked. What? I would have sped up. How 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 far did it fly down Kingsway? Dog, did it go yeah, distance? Yeah, it did you went, get Did you get out of the car to try and look and make sure you put, did the proper dot job? It made a noise to suggest that my car was done. Did you uh, ruin your you car? Know, a week later, it was. Fuck. I'm sad that the first one, red polo called Elmo, killed by a badger that you killed. Killed by a badger. Ha- hang on, <laughs> is it, how tall is the badger? Could is it was possible? It on two legs. Is it, it possible was... where? <laughs> what do you mean? How tall was the well, badger? If you, if you went over the badger perfectly center, uh, and the badger would have went underneath the car and not hit by the tire. Like some evil, can evil trick. Oh, yeah, if you, if like you, ju- if you just stared, to start, yeah, it's going. Where the guy sort of shrinks himself <laughs> in. He doesn't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, we, I, oh, I have to think about that badger. Yeah. No, I've, not, I've never hit anything, but I don't think I'd lever it into the distance. <laughs> Birds sometimes. <laughs> what do you what do you kill food to eat? It? Have you done that? So, like, would you what? kill a chicken? Yeah, I'd kill a chicken. Easy, Ethan. You kill a chicken. Well, you have to beat the chicken first, but and it's not likely you could beat win. a chicken. Would you? Would you? If you had to kill a chicken to like, eat, to eat it, would you survive? Sort of survive? No, I, I, I um, I, I just can't deal with the real world. Really, it, it's wrong being. Meat eaters, really, isn't it? But we do it. And the right answer is probably veganism. It's, we all know it. We're just scared to look it in the face. So you're on this earth by yourself, right? Yeah. Ethan's world. Uh, there's, there's still animals kicking about. You're not going to kill any of them. You're going to turn vegan. You do, you do have the opportunity to go out and get your own food, you know, hunt your own food, get it, and cook it, you know? Hmm... Mm. How about a fish? Oh, uh, the Could fish is a fish? moron, isn't it? Famously, it doesn't really know what's going on. But still, it's not, it's not right, is it? But we we all bloody just keep on going, and then we'll die, and on our deathbeds we'll go. Oh, I should have been a vegan. We're, we're probably well, you're gonna die either way, whether you're a vegan or you're a meat eater. I'd not ca- me. I, I'd, not I'd, me. I think I'd kill most animals to eat them. Becky. Not, not that I would eat them, but I mean, if I had to, I, I don't think I'd be put off. My partner doesn't eat things that would like be happy if you returned from like a day out. So like a sheep. Oh give right, you. yeah. Oh, that's decent. Like Becky's back. Chicken will give a shit, would it? No, no, Just no. Just no, chicken. No. Uh, what about cats? Because cats don't really. Cats are quite indifferent. Yeah. <laughs> cats from that. Uh, right, we're gonna. We, well, we've not ordered your one out of ten club. I've not really even warned you about it. Okay. But one out of ten club is the opposite to nine out of ten club, which we will get you in and do because yep. you have your food. So it is food that is bad. Okay. But controversial the better because last week Jay brought in hash browns. Okay. And that causes stir, but people respect Jay. And they respected his opinion. Yeah. Although ultimately he was wrong. Do you have a food like that? That I wouldn't eat or that you think is pretty shit, but but it doesn't have to be controversial. You can just throw anything in. There. Right, okay. But yeah, food that you kind of really shush. Beans. Out. I can't stand beans. I find them pathetic. I can't have them well, you know when you, if, if someone brings out like a if you go to a greasy spoon and they'll put beans on and it touches anything on my plate, I fuck off, won't hear it. Or tomatoes as well. Another one I like real you know, tomatoes on a Sunday breakfast. I can't stand them. Beans, Ethan. Beans. beans. Yeah, I could. I could like. Oh, he's, he's wrong. Do you know what Ethan brought into the ni- the nine out of ten? Beans. Beans with little sausages. In. You know, Joe. He brought in. He brought in. He brought in. Just not, not sucking up here. He brought in beans and 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 toast and cheese, didn't right, he? Right. So what what you hearing here is that. He needed sausages with his beans to bring it up, and you needed cheese and toast to bring your beans up. You couldn't eat them on their own. And salt and pepper. Well, there you go. Can't even, they need flavouring. The bland, they're very dry. Are you mad? 
They're not they're dry. dry, are they? No, <laughs> I've got something in a beans. sauce. Well, that's dry. a sauce, isn't it? Beans on their own are dry. Yeah, when, but, when, you, oh, when, you, when you're breaking into them, they're quite dry. What, we, what, we, what are we putting in here? The, heart, like the, the standard beans into our Yeah, sauce? I just can't stand any of that. Like beans, like the same sort of stuff that you get in spaghetti, isn't it? More or less. Spaghetti sauce. That's what the bean shit is, isn't it? What the bean juice. About? I don't You've know. You've lost your beans. <laughs> The sauce that you get in beans is pretty similar to the spaghetti sauce, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty, yeah. Pre- yeah, pretty similar. So we're taking can of beans with tomato sauce in. Oh, uh, yeah. Shit. Crap food. Uh, I'm with you on the grilled tomato. Tomato is horrible. I, I'd say I go one better. I'd say tomatoes are worse than beans for me. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I like, it's the snot part of the tomato that I can't stand. Yeah. What bit is that? The, you know, like the sauce. The, 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 yeah, the flesh and all that. Like that yeah. really goes through me. Can't stand it. What about when you go to places and they just give you a little bit of like on the vine cherry tomatoes? On the vine, I'm not too bad because I can throw that. And I don't mind dry tomatoes. But I got a kebab last night and I was fuming because I said no tomatoes and there was a sliver with the snotty bit on my kebab. I was fuming. I said to my mum, do you want that? You lived a life. So I, you know, I wouldn't have it. I didn't need the kebab. Live a kebab on a fucking Wednesday night. Yeah. Which one? Um, Grand Lemon you Yeah, Cha Cha's, I think it was. Cha Yeah, down there. Not Red Cherry. Is Red Cherry still going? Fucking is it? Yeah, that's a, that was a gangster one back in the days. Yeah, it was yeah chip naan, chip naan butties. That's, that's, that. that's good. Oh, that chip naan. Oh, you get chip well naan, good. chip naan butties. Yeah, fresh naan, fries, and then we used to put like chili sauce in it with lemon as well. Fucking really, really good. Fucking yeah. On that. I'm hungry now. <laughs> right. Chip Ethan. naan. Beans. Yeah, it's not, it's not in the one out of ten group. Say you it could, with your chest. It's just not in the one out of ten group. You could convince me. With the tomato for it, shit. Although I did have a subway the other day and the tomato was in the sandwich, I thought, this is the first time I've not minded a tomato in a sandwich, which is really good news. So maybe I'll oh, maybe to you to have Rowan driving in tomatoes now, big man. I think you're switching to tomatoes because I agree the grilled tomatoes. Tomatoes, yeah, right. that's well overrated. Are we all saying a grilled tomato on a breakfast is shit? Yep. One out of ten? One, One out, out of ten. ten. Oh, nice. This is it. You've done it. Yes. Now I'm really worried because Jay reckons we're racist because we. He's our only. Um, what? Uh, do you remember we said he's, we've not? He's not had a successful nine out of ten or one out of ten club yeah. offering. He called me and Ethan racist uh, last week. Um, and now you've come here and your first ever suggestion. Yeah. We we basically helped you to get one in. That's fine. Well, thank you very much about that. Do you think he's gonna be bothered? Do you think he'll be fuming? I'll just, tell him. I'm gonna text him now. What did you, what did you say? No, I'll just I'll stick it together. No. <laughs> Sticking together, Ooh. he's off his fucking yeah. head. Uh, right, Scotty and Motty. Yep. Every uh, episodes on YouTube. Podcast. Yeah, every like live every Monday between six and seven. Uh, and if you want to do agony uncles, where we get people, we we'll have to get you in for the agony uncles. Actually, we had yeah. Angelina in doing it last week. It was good. What was one last week? Um, so one of the ones last week was. Is it strange that I um, am polite to my AI? So it was a guy who says, like, oh, yeah. thank you and please and slightly flirts. I do. His wife says it's weird. Oh, you got it because one day they'll control the world. Thank you. That was exactly what They're I said. I've seen Terminator. They're not going to forget that shit. Be nice now. They're making notes, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you, would you um, have sex with a robot? Yeah. No. Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? In the future. He's speaking a lot here. <laughs> I think you know the answer, don't you? I wouldn't have sex with a robot. I couldn't. If it was fit. Hey, could, he's still a robot, isn't it? Would you, Ethan? W- what about one of those, um, not plastic dolls, but the ones where the silicon... Would you do that? Well, like the texture. <laughs> the silicon one. You just know in the back of your head, though, wouldn't you, that it's a robot? You can't be doing that. Yeah. I think as time advances, though, I think more people are going to move towards that world. Yeah. So. It's going to be sad, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. oh. It might not be. There might be a lot more happier people. True. Anyway, this has been the Slavery, <laughs> the Slavery Joe's podcast. Ethan, would you, have sex, you didn't even say, would you have sex with a robot? Um, Don't ask no, us about I, Facebook or some sort of other one. <laughs> Both yes or no? Well, I'm, I'm very fond of my part. Was it cheating if you were to have sex with a robot? That's a good question, actually. I don't know, because... What is it, isn't it? Nah, it depends how. If she, I don't know. It's just another form of masturbation. No, but <laughs> but <laughs> would you not? Would you not be offended if you found out Becky was 
riding a bigger robotic rod than one of yours. The women that already use vibrators, are they not all, is, that already, is, that, is, is that not already a robot? No, but if you put a face on it. I'll just draw a smiley face mm. on it with the vibrator. <laughs> Call it maybe, call maybe, but the thing is, maybe you could get like a, 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 a Joel, a, a Joel Terminator when you weren't there. So you could have like your face on it. Christ. <laughs> We're gonna go now. Thank you very much for watching the Sloppy Joe's podcast. We'll see you on Tuesday. Bye. Thank you, Scotty. See you later, man. Bye. Wave, Ethan. Ta-ra. <laughs>